Welcome back to another Genetics 311 exam video. Today we'll be discussing transcription in prokaryotes. To begin, there are three different section of, sections of transcription. Initiation, elongation, and termination. In order to illustrate the process of transcription, I will use a road with a school zone. For this illustrative analogy, the road represents a DNA sequence. The first and second school zones represent the negative 35 and the negative 10 promoter regions respectively and the 55 mile per hour zone represents the plus one transcription start site. The top road will be the coding lane, and the bottom road will be the template lane. Similar to a school bus finding a school zone, the RNA polymerase will find the promoter region and bind to it. It is also important to note that a school bus without a school driver, without a school bus driver, is pretty useless, just like RNA polymer polymerase without a sigma factor. So in this case, we will have this guy be our driver, this further right guy, and he will be our sigma factor. This is called a core enzyme. So without the sigma factor on the RNA polymerase, it is just a core enzyme. Once the driver loads on the bus as a sigma factor, it will create a complete RNA polymerase unit. This is now a hollow enzyme. Moving on to the second step of transcription, we have elongation. The bus is now moving down the road with all the children loaded up. As the bus or RNA polymerase continues down the road, it begins to drop children off at their respective houses. This is the RNA chain being synthesized. Remember that the base, that the processes of transcription proceed in a five prime to three prime direction. Each child of the chain of drop-offs represents a nucleotide in the chain sequence. Once all the children have been dropped off at their respective houses, we have the last section of transcription called termination. There are two types of termination, the first being row dependent, and the second being row independent. Row dependent is when the RNA polymerase hits the transcription stop point and allows for the ch child named Rho, right here, or in reality, the row factor to catch up and tell the bus to stop. So here's Rho telling the bus, hey, stop, everyone's off. The second scenario is row independent where the RNA chain hits a point where it is rich in C and G nucleotides, which stick together and cause the RNA polymerase to stop. This is called a stable hairpin. So this little loop here is a stable hairpin. In my example, there are children who are friends who stick together. So these C's and G's stick together and cause the bus to stop dropping kids off. Both of these situations would cause a termination in the transcription process. Finally, and we'll go up to this slide to explain this. In the case of a missing negative 10 box when talking about a protein that metabolizes sugar, so this whole section would be missing here. Um, the RNA polymerase would not be able to bind to the promoter region, causing the protein to not be synthesized. In reality, from a physiological standpipe, standpoint, this might lead to a condition similar to diabetes. Thank you for watching, and my only resources are Dr. Helwig and Dr. Jones' lecture videos.